The G200. The G200 analyzer is specifically designed for highly accurate measurements and verifications of the quality of piped N2O gas in hospitals. This instrument has easy user calibration, quick verification of gas quality, and user maintains site and sample point IDs for monitoring. This video is a quick guide to get started using and calibrating the monitor. It is strongly advised that you refer to the manual for any operations involving this monitor. Pack contents. When you receive your G200, you should find the following. One G200 analyzer, a UK charging plug, three universal adapters, one moisture filter, one section of tubing, a hard surrounding carry case, a factory calibration certificate, a G200 manual and three CO2 lime filters. General operation. To turn the unit on, press the red power button and wait 60 seconds for the unit to warm up. During this time, attach the moisture filter and CO2 line filter. The unit will automatically run a test to identify any problems or indicate if it is due a calibration. Once this test has run, it will sit in a dormant monitoring mode. From the dormant mode, you can press the menu button to see a list of additional options and settings. There are six options. Information, Utilities, Calibration, View Data, Diagnostics and Monitor. Information gives you details on the version software, serial number and when the monitor is due to be serviced. It also shows the last factory calibration and user calibration dates. The utilities menu allows the user to change the time and date, set the contrast, set the N2O alarm levels for the dormant monitoring mode, flow fail settings and logging options. Flow fail. Should the flow fail screen appear, as reconstructed here, you can press the fan button twice to quickly return to the monitoring screen. If the problem persists, please refer to the manual included for a detailed solution guide. Monitoring procedure. To begin monitoring in a specific mode, press the menu button and then select the monitor option. You will be prompted to set up a site if you haven't already. Once this has been done, you can press the Accept button to continue. The G200 will begin to analyse N2O. Wearing the monitor. The monitor can be worn with a holder to ensure personal protection when handling N2O gases for environments like dental practices. The inlet tube is placed along the strap near the wearer's breathing space. Leak detection. The G200 also has a leak detection mode. Seen here, the monitor is used near N2O canisters to ensure there is no leakage. Zero calibration. A zero calibration is to be done in ambient air away from any levels of N2O and the CO2 line filter must be attached. To begin this calibration, select the calibration option from the main menu and then select zero calibration. The monitor will begin to zero calibrate upon pressing the select button. Once the G200 has completed its zero calibration process, you can press accept to finish.
Calibration To perform a full calibration, you will need the N2O calibration gas, flow meter and the calibration tubing supplied from Bedfont. Remove the filter as seen here. Next, screw the flow meter onto the gas canister, ensuring it is on tightly and that you haven't crossed the threads. Then attach the calibration tubing to the flow meter. Bedfont advises that the exhaust tubing should be at least a metre long. From the main menu screen, select the monitor option. From this screen, select span gas and then span with N2O. Next, select N2O 100 ppm. The monitor will prompt you to begin the flow of gas. At this point, release the flow valve to allow the N2O to flow into the monitor. The monitor will now begin to calibrate. Once the reading has stabilised, you can then press the accept button and the monitor will adjust its calibration level accordingly. Stop the flow of gas and remove the calibration tubing. Exit the calibration menu by pressing accept and then return to the dormant screen. You can then place the filter back onto the monitor and allow it time to return to a normal level, reading in atmospheric air.